on, people. I'm gonna hook up to this trailer right here. Make sure you get straight under it, you know what I mean? Show you guys what we do when we first hook up to the load uh, and whatnot. How you doing, Big Bad John? How you guys doing, TG, Alfred, Ray Peak, Den? How we doing, George? What's up, Cali King? We in Cali, my man. All right. So. I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Now, this may not be the same for everybody. This is what I tell my students. As long as you have this part of the trailer of the truck drives parallel here. Back it up, I'm gonna show you. Back it up. All right. As you can see, he's off a little bit. If you get that tire right here, you're always going to couple, the kingpin's always going to be here. Alright, so go ahead and push it over. <laughs> it's crazy out here, man. It's sunny. Very sunny. All right. All right, stop right here, stop right here. No, I'm gonna show him real quick, hold on. Let me show you guys. Again. As long as you have your drives lined up, with this right here. I'm sorry, the sun's in my way. With this marker right here. You're always gonna get the kingpin right here. All right, guys? So Steve is gonna back it up straight now. All right? Whenever you're backing up, guys, you see how that kingpin looks right there? It's just starting to come into the, it's starting to get into the locking jaw. You want to stop right there. And then we're going to drop it. Make sure there's no visible gap between the skid plate and the trailer apron. And then we're going to finish latching to it. Go ahead and park it. No, no, no. No, no, pull up, pull up. Back it up a little bit. All right. So he's gonna park it. We're gonna drop it. Yeah, we gotta drop it soon. And another thing too, guys. When the middle of the first drive gets here, that'll tell you that's a stopping point go down here. So remember guys, as long as you got this lined up, with the drive, then once you get the, the front drive in the middle, you know that's your stopping point. Yeah, go ahead, you good. So we got good old Steven over here, cranking down. Remember guys, whenever you drop it, you wanna make sure there's no visible gap between the skid plate and the apron. Bro, put it on low gear, man. All right. So, there's no gap between my skid plate and my apron, 
So at this point, we would proceed to go ahead and latch up to the truck. I'm gonna try to cover as much as I can, guys. I only have 15% on my phone right now. Something's going on with my charger. All right, once you hear that lock, you're gonna tug it twice. All right, guys. So at this point, we're gonna latch up the airlines. Remember, always grab the airlines by the, hold up. Remember, no, 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 no. These, you gotta push that, make sure you put that down. around on the trailer the air pressure is building up on the trailer he's not gonna crash nothing man all right you release it all right so after we release it we're gonna come over here we want to start the pre-trip on the trailer go ahead and click on menu it's saying there's a, an alarm already yeah doors open on menu then pre-trip we're gonna start pre-trip all right so while that's starting we're gonna we're gonna check make sure our kingpin is locked the lock locking jaw around the kingpin we're gonna raise it back we're gonna raise the um easy easy <laughs> bro Bro, you almost flipped forward. I know. <laughs> this is heavy as hell. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's showing you the process that I do with my students for the coupling area. So remember, you want to release the trailer valve so you got air already coming into the trailer and you want to start the pre-trip on the reefer unit. So you're trying to kill two birds with one stone. All right. Never raise it up all the way um, because if you raise it up all the way, it'll tend to get stuck at times. So always leave some yeah, on there. Always gonna, check through. <laughs> always check. Always check your reefer fuel. We're at three quarters. So the guys told us we need to open the back, break the seal. We're not gonna do that now. We're not gonna do that now. So we're gonna pull it out of the spot we're in and we're gonna make sure that we can do the trailer inspection out in the open so Steven go ahead and pull it out my man and then we'll inspect it very good thoroughly you know we already see it's got a scuzz over here on the frame rail all right guys I'm at nine percent nine percent on my battery Hey Steven, when you pull it out, go over here, okay? 
No, on the, on the right, right here. Hey, make sure you go wide. Go wide now. Watch your trailer. Hey, Chava Rafa, Rafa, Rafi, Rafa, Rafi. I'm sorry, man. Steve Johnson. All right, so we want to get it out in the open. Get it out in the open. Make sure you got enough space to get underneath and whatnot. Make sure you can check the lights. Man, it must be a swift battery in my phone for real. All right, that's good. All right, go ahead and kill it. We want to save fuel, people. Save fuel. Go ahead and turn on the lights. And the four-way is already on. So we're going to start in the very front. We're going to check the top, the clearance light. We're looking for any damages on the front. We know the glad hands are good. Pre-trip is going on on the, on the reefer. We're looking at the reefer tank fuel level. There's no damages on the, on the driver's side. Well, there's some scuffs over here. Scuffs. So we get underneath here. You want to make sure there's nothing hanging. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We want to make sure there's no titties on the tires. So you kind of look, you know, if you hear any hissing, you know there's definitely a problem. Hey, bring the tire thumper. That stick that I had. You kind of go back here as well, look at the mud flaps. Kind of, again guys, if there was something wrong, you'll see there's something wrong, something hanging. Hey, push the trailer valve in. How do I know that the trailer valve is out? Because the airbags are not filled up. All right, so we can see our tires look good. Again guys, You'll notice if something was was wrong. All right, so no, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I'm just hitting the Man, yo, wait, this dude over here tapping. You gotta hit him. You'll know. You'll hear the sound when it's flat. Light, marker light. No clearance lights, marker lights. Always make sure you got a tag. Always make sure that light works. All right, so tires look good. There's nothing out of the ordinary that you see. Again, there's nothing hanging. You don't hear any hissing. Skirts look good. Marker light. We got scratches, uh, scuffs over here. Landing gear looks good. Clearance light is good. So. Is that? Cross members are good. So we're good, guys. So again, man, I got what? I don't even know how much battery I got. Let's see, I'm at 3%, guys. So, again, we just went. I can't even see myself. That's how low I'm on battery. Damn, I can't we just went it. over the pre-trip on the trailer, kind of what we do. I'm low on battery, so I'm just gonna let it finish this pre-trip on the reefer unit. We checked underneath the trailer, no hissing, tires look good. Um, you know, trailer's good to go. So we're gonna finish this, then we're gonna head on out. We are headed to... Grandview, Washington, yes. We're here in Colton, Colton, California, picking up out of the Walmart DC. So again, guys, I just showed you guys how to couple, um, you know, the coupling part. Um, we, still, we still got batteries, so remember guys, we good over here. Always double check your kingpin. Landing gear, never raise it all the way up. 
Reefer Fuel, make sure you check it. Oh, real quick before I forget, because we are in California, we have to be in the six hole or under. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. Even if the holes are blocked, you count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, and here's the, the guide. Let me see if I can see this. As you can see, six hole. California's gotta be six hole or under. And every trailer here at Prime has one of these, so this is a good guide. So we're gonna scale it out. Let me see. We're gonna scale out, we're gonna go, guys. All right, we're out. Man, I can't fucking see.